This really is unacceptable. I gave you very specific instructions. Damn it, Selk! My invitation was for an abomination, ripe with the power to bring about the world's annihilation. Not this half-broken... thing. Whatever am I to do with you? And I see you insist on keeping the same familiar company. Are you so lost without them? It is not he who is lost without the familiar. Not content with remaking an entire city, you aim to fill it with the reconstituted souls of the dead. I may have gotten a little carried away in my attention to detail, added a few unnecessary flourishes. Well, there's no point trying to hide it. Yes. Once the rejoining of worlds is complete, Zodiac will regain his full strength and shatter his prison. Then we shall offer up the Source's remaining inhabitants in sacrifice, that we might resurrect our brethren who died to bring Zodiac into existence. But what was it that you came here to do exactly? Did you know? One last do or die attempt to foil my plans before your mind dissolves into madness? How very. Very heroic of you. In every single age, there is always someone who wants to stand up to the evil Asians. Always the same arrogance, the same insistence that the world belongs to them, as if theirs were the only rightful claim, theirs the only existence worthy of preservation. Even now, after everything, you refuse to see reason. You think it unfair that you are subject to suffering? That your lives will be sacrificed for the ancients? Look at me! I have lived a thousand, thousand of your lives. I have broken bread with you. Fought with you, grown ill, grown old, sired children, and yes, welcomed death's sweet embrace. For eons have I measured your worth and found you wanting. Too weak and feeble-minded to serve the stewards of any star! Your recent spats with Vorthri and his Sin Eaters taught you nothing? Have you not learned that your ignorance and frailty beget only endless misery? How long do you mean to perpetuate this farce? How much more must I endure your bumbling interference? Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I have, you would reach the same conclusion. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. 
I will bring back our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. The world belongs to us and us alone. Emmett Selk! We understand, truly, but it makes no difference. The ones you love are in the past, while ours are here in the present. One day, we too will be ashes and dust, but not today. Our time is not yet finished. We share your conviction, and that is why we will not abandon our course. You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Then come. Earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star. Nevertheless, your performance was underwhelming, and I remain unconvinced of your worthiness. Oh, tower of your misbegotten ilk, no doubt. But should I bring my full strength to bear, well. You would be as leaves in the wind. The gulf between us is a reflection of the disparity between the world as it was and what it has become.
we who have known perfection. The shattered source and these shards are ghastly mockeries of the true world. The ephemeral lives you exalt are pale imitations, utterly devoid of meaning. Belittle us all you like, but we will rise again and again and give the lie to your insults through words and deeds. We define our worth, not the circumstances of our creation. <laughs> More prat. to fade away. But that is no reason for us to forsake it. To take what steps we may, and thus mark the road for those who would follow. To strive for the best of all futures. Be this not also thy purpose? Do not presume to speak of my future. And you, why waste your final moments in futile defiance? Weary wanderer, you've no fight left to fight, no life left to live. You see, the light will not be denied. Surrender to your fate, and let the transformation take you. Rise up in madness and fury. Devour the vermin infesting the land which is rightfully ours.
If you had the strength to take another step, could you do it? Could you save our worlds?
Remember. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. It's over. Emmett Salk is no more. More importantly, how do you fare? What dost thou see? His ether. It is... It is as it used to be. As a disciple of Zodiac, the Asian was the darkness to your light. I can but assume that when you set your strength against his, the light within you was spent. No, it's more than that. Under the strain of that incredible flood of ether, your soul had begun to break apart. Yet now it seems somehow restored. I tried to help you before the battle, but Emmett Selk stopped me. So, how did you... exactly what did you... Can you tell us what happened? to start. I believe I owe you all an apology, and you most especially. It is good to be awake. souls dove straight into the ocean over there, did they? Uh, all, all I could see from here was the whale, Master Chai. T'was surely Alphno and those friends of his. They did something heroic, mark my words. You need only look up there for proof of that.
As you say, my love. They're sure to be back. Any moment now. Any moment. They are coming back, aren't they? I couldn't bear the thought of... <laughs> there, there, dear. Everything will be all right. There! There! Look! Over there! Over the beach! Greetings! You all right? Welcome back! I didn't think we'd be swimming. The whole way back. Heavens. Heavens. Take me. Alphano! Oh, hells. Wait! Where's Uriante? Nah. <sighs> he must have fallen behind. He'll wash up sooner or later. For the love of Alphano! Welcome back, dear ones! And thus did salvation come to the first. The lamps of Amorot will fade along with Emmet Selk's enchantments, and the depths shall be as once they were. Mount Gulg will one day fall, and the Talos below yield to wind and rain. This tale, too, will fade with time, passing into legend as the world heals and moves on. Nevertheless, obeys the cycle, as death and decay gives way to new life.
so too do the memories we share inspire others to rise to greatness. For we who walk before may lead those who walk after. Your road goes ever on, as does your story, as does your legacy. Such is the hero's lot, to touch the lives of countless others. Excuse me, you're the warrior of darkness, aren't you? Where are you from, really? And how did you get to be so strong? By your deeds has the blinding light been banished from these skies, and the Sin Eaters driven to retreat. Although our many hurts will be years in the mending, I have faith that this world and her people will one day be whole once more. With no rejoining in prospect, the Source need no longer fear the coming of an eighth umbral calamity. And with that triumph, the future from which you came will no longer come to pass. Yet here you still stand. So I do. I wonder if that other age continues onward somehow, cut adrift from time's flow. Or have I simply etched myself a place upon this new block of history? Either way, this is an unexpected development. As the summoner of your souls, my death was meant to release you back to your world. Yet I am very much alive, and you are still stuck here in the first. I believe I speak for us all when I say that we are happy to postpone our return if it means your life is spared. We will seek out another way. Besides, I never had any intention of rushing home. There are people here I still need to thank, and this means I might actually have time to do so. Yet we dare not neglect our comrades in the Source. Mistress Tataru, to name but one, will be most anxious to know how things stand with us. So, you'll just have to make the journey alone for the moment. Be sure and give a full report to our fellow Scions, will you? Oh, and we'd also appreciate any news you can bring us from back home. Then I see no reason to delay. I can open the path from here. I imagine we each have matters demanding our attention, so let this be a farewell for us all. Send word when you've resummoned our friend. Oh, and do try to ensure he arrives within the city next time. Of course. I shall strive for utmost accuracy. No strange forests or unplanned passengers, I promise.
I'm a little relieved, to be honest. I would have been terribly lonely if everyone had suddenly disappeared. But I understand that you have to go. Safe journey, warrior of darkness. I hope to see you again soon. Just a moment while I attune the portal, then you can be on your way. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. And then one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me in the flesh. A hero who looked at the horizon and beyond and saw I knew not what. All I knew was that I would give anything to stand at that hero's side. that it was so easy. The glory of the heavens was ever beyond the grasp of those who never thought to reach for it. But if I have gained anything from all of this, it is the courage to stretch out my hand. Do you hear me, Grahatia? This is no time for sleeping. To the west gate. I want to know what's happening there. Same as the others. Struck down with a single blow. An unfortunate day to draw guard duty. Forgive me. These were your people. We took advantage of this slaughter to slip into the palace. It is not for me to grieve them. That was the Emperor! Wait! Ugh!
Gaius! You've missed your part in this, I'm afraid. Identify yourself, demon! You were hoping for the Asian. The Craven shed this skin and fled, rather than face me. A pity. I was looking forward to crossing blades with myself. But I cannot deny the feeling of satisfaction. Body and soul reunited at last. What now? The game continues, but the pieces have changed. Only if we trust in Paragon's words. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. He speaks the truth. Elidibus is gone. Tore a hole into the rift. <sighs> Xenos, my foolish, greedy son. Was a second life not enough? What's the Empire too rich a prize to ignore? True freedom for our nation, our people, will never be won by a spoiled princeling. The burden of this throne is beyond you. Hmm. Tis you, father, who have struggled with this burden. Simply holding the Empire together has occupied your limited faculties. But you may take comfort in knowing that I have no intention of pursuing your tedious agenda. Nor am I interested in ruling over the Empire's lands. I came only to remove that which ruins my sport. I will not have my prey stolen by your petty wars and cowardly weapons. You would kill me just for that. I need no other reason. Any and all who interfere with my hunt... ...will not do so twice! I heard the Asians speak of Zodiac, an Eidolon. Even the will of this star is but a construct of our own making. We shall gorge upon their strength, and then, my friend, our contest shall begin anew. See now! 